Sophia, Amika, Siri, and Alexa all have one thing in common. They are all women. Could this be more of a sexual desire people have since tech industry is dominated by males? Or is it something about the human psychology we really didn't know about? Today, we're going to reveal the seven scientific reasons why this is. The last reason will terrify you. Before we do that, I want to talk about our newsletter where you guys will receive exclusive AI robotic news, hit stories, and even links to actually buy these AI robots for yourself. We sent this out every single week and it's totally free to sign up. The link will be in the description down below. All this research comes from Carl Dorman, an expert robotics and human computer interaction, University of Indiana in the US. Number one is perception of humanness. A study found that women are generally perceived as more human than men, both in comparison to non-human entities just like animals and machines. This perception is rooted in the belief that women are warmer and more likely to experience emotion rather than men. As a result, female generating of AI objects is used to humanize them. Is this why there's a lot of AI female robots are so popular and will continue to be this popular? Two, human bots and humanness. Female AI bots were found to be equipped with more positive human qualities more than a male bot. Participants in a study perceived that female bots are more human than their male counterparts, which kind of makes sense. Imagine a library with two types of books, one with colorful inviting covers and another one with a plain cover. The colorful books are like female AI bots, attracting readers with their appealing appearances. People perceive these books as more human, as if they have some intriguing stories to tell. In the other hand, the plain cover books are more like a male AI bot, often overlooked and perceived as less human, as if their stories are less engaging. Number three, the impact on attitudes. The research also reveals that the perceived humanness of female bots led to more of a favorable attitude towards AI solutions, particularly in the health context. This suggests that the humanization of AI through femininity can also influence how people interact and accept AI technology. Just as a friendly smile can make people way more approachable and open to conversation, the perceived humanness on AI female bots warms up users to accept and engage with AI tech, which makes sense why Siri and Alexa are females. Number four, measurement. The study employed various measures to assist perceived humanness, including explicit measure, just like a scent humanization scale and more subtle measures such as attributing emotions to men and female bots. Hello, Jimmy. These measures aim to capture both bleeding and implicit perceptions of humanness. Number five, gender differences. Interestingly, while female bots were seen more human on most measures, male bots were actually perceived more human on negative dimensions as subtle measures of humanness. This indicates that female bots are associated with more of a positive sense, while male bots are perceived more human in a negative sense. Number six, objectification versus recognition. The research challenges the idea that objectification is necessarily preceded by dehumanization. It suggests that prevalence of the female identity in AI may be rooted in the recognition that women are perceived as more human than men rather than less so. Number seven, ethical implications. The study raises ethical concerns for AI designers and policymakers. While female generating of AI may make these systems appear more human, it could also make women feel more like objects. This in turn may have implications for the real world treatment of women, which isn't good for society and requires a lot of work on their end to make this safe for everyone. So what are the potential potential solutions of this. One is to develop a gender neutral voices and personas for AI systems. Another option inspired by Google's experimentation involves randomly assigning either a male or a female voice to the AI users according to their gender and hopes to reduce gender bias. These findings provide valuable insight into the complex relationships between gender and humanness and AI technology, prompting the important discussions about the future of AI development and its society impact. And this kind of reminds me of a crazy story where four AI robots killed 29 people in Japan in 2017. And for some reason, no one's talking about this. I made a whole video uncovering the truth and what really happened. You can watch this right here.